All right, let's chat real quick about this book that I've been reading. It's super great as an introduction for someone that's new to day trading. The author is Andrew Aziz, and it's called How to Day Trade for a Living. We're going to take a look at the table of contents, and I'm just going to tell you in general about the book. I'll probably end up doing videos about each of the chapters and things that I've picked up and key points, but that's for another time. And so for this book, there's a lot of important chapters. So we have the introduction, we have how day trading works, risk account management. So these first three are more of an introduction for you. Chapter four and chapter seven are probably going to be the biggest uh, chapters for you to review over and over and over again. How to find stocks for trades. These are the stock and plays that you want to trade as a day trader. It gives the strategy of how to find them because as much knowledge and as much skill as you have, if you're trading the wrong stock, you're not going to make any money. So you have to find the right stock to work your strategy on. Plan for the trade and then trade your plan. That's the common saying that I keep reading across all these different stock websites and articles and books. And then we have tools and platforms. We have an introduction to candlesticks. It's not too hard to pick it up. Chapter seven is super awesome. It's uh, the day trading strategies. You definitely want to go through this as you progress in your six months to a year journey. What I'm doing actually is just working on one strategy for a couple weeks or a month or so just so I make sure I know what I'm doing my recommendation the best ones to start out with as a day trader is basically strategy six which is VWAP and then strategy seven which is support or resistance trading I'm still working on VWAP only I haven't even touched support or resistance trading in my practice account I, I know about it but I haven't applied it or used it eight and nine are pretty cool too um, these again are more general, like how to get started, what you should do, that sort of thing. So that's it for this section about the book. And then I'm just going to talk real quick about my plans for the upcoming week. And then we're going to close it out. We have this calculator that I've been working on. It's very interesting and I'm, I'm going to put it to the test this upcoming week just to see how it works. And I'm going to not link this one yet. Uh, let me test it out first before I actually introduce it to you guys. Basically what it is, is make sure you turn on protected ranges. So the the white empty fields are the ones I want to fill in. Uh, you basically only want to risk 2% of your account, right? So if you have a $1,000 account, you should only risk $20 per trade. So for example, I go through talking Boxel, got 200 shares, $3.895 per share. I want to risk 10 cents. If the total loss is less than the 2% number of your account, then you should do it. You should never risk more than 2% of your account because you're trying to survive when you're first learning, right? You're not trying to blow all your money. As an example, if I go over, if I get like 220 shares, oops, that's $22. I don't want to make that trade. So I want to maybe just lower my risk. Let's do like, I don't know, five, five cents. So that covers, it's a below $20, so that's good. And I'll introduce to you when this is ready. I'm going to plan to talk more about trading view. This is how I, this is my stock screener. That's how I find my stocks in the morning. I'm going to introduce to you this as, as I get more familiar. Um, there's also a link in the bottom if you want to take a look at this platform. And then we have stock tweets. This is like Twitter except for stocks and it's super fun. I, I love watching this. They have a real time tweet thing going on during the day as you're watching your trades. You can read this and it's like some people put memes. You put all the, it's basically fake. Facebook and Twitter, or whatever, but it's live and everyone's on the same page. We're all watching the stock. You can watch multiple stocks at a time, obviously, by adding it to your watch list. But I'll talk more about this as I kind of play more around with the platform. Lastly, I just want to touch on the Discord. There's a bunch of Discords out there that I found. There's some here, and I'm going to explore this the coming weeks. Most of them, I think, are they want you to buy courses and that sort of thing, but it might be a good community for you to find friends anyway. So why not, right? And just to close out this video, I I just want to mention that I do have a Discord channel as well. This was mainly for, you know, my web development section, but now it's kind of progressed into this trading thing, right? So I have a trading channel and I have a trading voice channel. I hang around here every morning because I'm already on Discord with the other stock Discord channels. So I am also on here. Hit me up. I usually hang out about an hour or two every morning um, just to practice. So I also have a Webull affiliate account if you'd like to support me in that way. And this is the link here which I'll also have linked in the bottom description. Basically, Webull is pretty cool because there's zero commission trading and you don't have to deposit any money. A lot of stockbrokers, they'll charge you like $4.95 for a trade, especially the bigger guys. There's a lot of other cool things that you check out. You can trade stocks, options, ETFs, and crypto if you're into that. There's different types of accounts. I signed up for an individual brokerage account. The cool thing about this app is you can trade 
uh, extended hours as well. So even after the stock market closes, you can still do some trading and that's included as well in, in the Weibo account. And one of the reasons uh, why I signed up as recommended to me by a friend. And so there's also different tools that you can use, um, you know, things that we talked about, VWAP and other things like the moving average, which I haven't talked about yet, and other tools that you can pay for as well. And they have a Webull app for the PC desktop as well as the Mac. And I've used both. They're both working really well. Uh, I'm proud of the work that they've done behind this so software. And there's a lot of cool support, which I haven't used yet, but I'm sure they're amazing at that too. Again, if you're able to, um, if if you decide to sign up, definitely support me if you can. And then I also recently created a Patreon page because I figure if I'm making more videos about this, people like to support me, buy me a, a share of a stock or buy me some coffee. That would be totally awesome. And that will give me more uh, incentive to make videos like these to help you guys start your stock trading career. That's going to do it for me this week. It's been week three. I'm so excited about week four. I did not tell you about the Boxel trade that I've done on Webull, but I'm waiting to see what happens happens before I reveal uh, what goes on and tell you the whole story instead of just leaving you on a cliffhanger. Thank you so much and thanks for visiting my channel. Hope this video has helped you out. Support me if you can. See you next week. If you haven't already checked out part one, there should be a link in the bottom description. I also talk about my trades by sharing with you some screenshots. I talk about the VWAP strategy briefly, and then I also share with you the log that I'm using, and then a guide that I'm writing for my friends and for myself. There's no gimmicks, you can just download it from the link, and it should help you get started right away. Thanks so much for visiting, and see you next time.